Welcome. So in this video, we'll explore this code that got generated in the previous video. So we have the first line of code. This is system util dot run, followed by we can see a path, we can see program files. So that's where I have my Internet Explorer saved. It's where my Internet Explorer is saved. This is the path to my Internet Explorer. System util dot run opens basically opens up a browser. So this is the path for my Internet Explorer. It is basically going through that path and writing open, meaning open Internet Explorer. We will go deep into writing our own codes and modifying this code and making it more organized and easier to follow and uh, flow. The next code is basically browser.page.sync. This basically clicks on a browser or basically it activates a browser um, and open browser. So this is the name of the browser, search. So the browser was recorded, the browser properties and values were recorded, and this code was generated. Browser.page.sync. Then we have the browser search, so it's telling that browser, which is this browser, dot navigate, followed by the URL, we can see HTTP facebook.com so it is basically navigating to facebook.com in this code which is this code line number three then we have line four basically is clicking on that win button which is browser dot dialog that dialog box is presented in the browser so browser is the parent browser dot dialog dot win button which is called the OK button and click on that click on the OK button then it is basically browse.page.webedit so let me just go back to facebook.com so on facebook.com this whole window the browser is identified as a browser by QTP and this whole page is identified as a page. So browser dot page and inside the page we have this email login box and QTP identifies this box where you can enter some text and QTP identifies it as webedit. So as you can see browser.page.webedit which is this webedit.set set means enter some text. So whenever you see dot .set on our webedit that means you are writing some text on that webedit field. The same thing applies to password browser.page.webedit.set secure so you might be wondering why we have set and set secure in these two lines by the way the reason we are learning to read these codes is because this is needed to help us write our own codes going back to the point so the reason we have set and set secure here. When we have a set like hi at yahoo.com, we will enter some text that is visible. So here we can see literally view this text that I've entered. When you or a quick test professional does a set secure, in this case it was default set secure because it is a password field set secure means we can enter text but we won't see the text which is why it is a set secure 
then it will click on browser.page.web button, uh, which is this login. So all of these are the different types of objects you have to be familiar with. We have page browsers, web button, web edit, web elements. These texts are probably web elements. We have win buttons, which is for Windows applications. These are different types of objects you have to be familiar with. You click on the login button. So it clicks on the login button. There's a dialog for clicking on yes. It clicks on that, then it will sync onto that browser and page. Again, the last page where we saw the error message. Then it closes the browser. So the browser, followed by the name of the browser, dot close. So it closes the browser. So these are the codes that got generated by each step that we performed. In the next video, we will explore the properties and values of these objects through Object Spy, the man with the hat, the little blue hat sign, so that we can write our own codes from scratch. Thank you.